I've been working soil for long enough to know that once it dies, it's tough to bring back. When the microbes vanish, the earth hardens and plants struggle, most people turn to chemical fertilizers, hoping for a miracle. But what I discovered one season changed everything. I mixed plain sugar into my grass clippings, nothing fancy, no additives, and the results were unlike anything I'd ever seen. Within days, the soil smell changed. Within weeks, the structure softened, and within a month, roots were thriving where nothing had survived before. This wasn't some gardening gimmick. There's real science behind why it worked, and I'm going to walk you through exactly how and why this simple mixture can bring your soil back to life. The combination of sugar and grass clippings creates a microbial explosion. When soil dies, what's really happening is that microbial populations have collapsed. Microbes, the bacteria, fungi and tiny decomposers, are what keep soil alive. They digest organic matter, release nutrients and maintain structure. Without them, soil becomes compacted and nutrient-locked. Grass clippings provide the food source, nitrogen, plant hormones and minerals, while sugar provides the energy. Microbes, like all living things, need energy to multiply. Grass alone breaks down slowly, especially in poor soils with low microbial activity. But when you add sugar, it's like adding fuel to a dormant fire. Those sugars give the existing microbes an immediate energy source, triggering rapid reproduction. This surge in microbial life then accelerates the decomposition of the grass clippings, releasing a steady flow of available nutrients and organic acids. The result, your soil becomes biologically active again, and plants start responding fast. Here's exactly how to make the sugar grass soil activator correctly. Start with freshly cut green grass, still moist and full of chlorophyll. For every 10 kilograms of grass clippings, mix in one cup, about 200 grams, of plain brown sugar or, even better, unsulfured molasses if you have it. Brown sugar or molasses both provide simple carbohydrates that microbes can consume easily. Pile the mixture in a shaded area or inside a large bucket. Add just enough clean non-chlorinated water to make the pile damp but not soaking wet. Then cover it loosely with a cloth, plastic sheet or banana leaf, something that keeps moisture in but lets air flow. Over the next five to seven days, turn or stir it daily to keep it aerated. You'll start to notice a warm, slightly sweet, earthy smell. That's microbial activity in action. The mixture will darken and soften as it ferments. After a week, your sugar grass activator is ready to apply. If you want a liquid version, strain the mix and collect the brownish liquid. It's essentially a fermented grass extract loaded with plant-available nutrients and microbes. The right way to apply it to revive lifeless soil. For general soil improvement, dilute your strained liquid in water at a ratio of one part brew to ten parts water. Pour it directly onto the soil surface around your plants or soak an entire bed before planting. For severely degraded soil, repeat this treatment every seven to ten days for three to four weeks. If you've kept the mixture in solid form, you can use it as a compost starter. Mix one part of your sugar grass compost with three parts of old soil or dry organic matter. Spread it across your garden bed and water lightly. The microbial population from the fermented material will quickly move into the surrounding soil, breaking down residues and rebuilding structure. Within a few weeks, you'll notice a transformation. The soil becomes softer, darker and easier to crumble. Earthworms start returning. You'll see a healthy, earthy aroma replacing the sour or metallic smell of dead soil. Those are all signs that microbial life has been restored. Why does this work better than commercial fertilizers for healing soil? Well, commercial fertilizers deliver nutrients, but they do nothing for the soil's biological life. In fact, they can sometimes make things worse by creating salt buildup and disrupting microbial balance. The sugar grass mixture works on a completely different principle. It rebuilds the biology first, 
allowing nutrients to cycle naturally. Grass clippings provide nitrogen and trace minerals that plants need, but when fermented with sugar, they also release amino acids, humic substances, and enzymes that condition the soil. The sugars feed beneficial microbes, which then multiply and produce organic acids that unlock bound nutrients like phosphorus and potassium from the soil matrix. What you're doing here is rebuilding the soil food web. Once that system is alive again, plants can access nutrients efficiently, making them stronger, more disease resistant and better able to withstand drought and stress. It's a self-sustaining cycle, something fertilizers alone just can't replicate. Let's look at some practical examples of how to integrate this into your gardening system. Say you're planting tomatoes in soil that's been overworked. Before transplanting, drench the soil with your sugar grass brew at a 1 to 10 dilution. Wait 2 to 3 days for the microbial activity to build, then plant directly into that bed. Follow up with another light drench every 2 weeks. You'll notice thicker stems, greener leaves and faster flowering. For lawns or pastures, you can use a backpack sprayer. Mix 1 litre of the brew into 10 litres of water and spray evenly across 10 to 15 square metres. Do this early in the morning or late afternoon to avoid evaporation and give the microbes time to settle into the soil. If you're composting, this brew works wonders as a compost accelerator. Every time you add a new layer of organic waste, sprinkle a little of the sugar grass mix and water it in. It speeds up decomposition dramatically, producing richer compost in less time. So, what are the visible signs that your soil is truly healing? Healthy soil isn't just darker, it behaves differently. After two to three weeks of using this mixture, water will start penetrating more easily instead of pooling on top. When you dig in, you'll see a crumbly structure and the faint presence of white fungal threads. These are beneficial mycelia, and they're indicators of a balanced ecosystem. Plants will root deeper and show a natural shine on their leaves, a sign of increased chlorophyll and balanced nutrition. If you test your soil temperature, you might even notice it's slightly warmer. That's microbial respiration at work, generating heat as life returns underground. The long-term benefits go far beyond a single growing season. What makes this approach so powerful is that it keeps improving the soil long after you have stopped applying it. The microbes multiply and establish permanent colonies, continuing to decompose organic matter and release nutrients. Over time, your need for external fertilizers drops significantly. The soil becomes self-sustaining, resilient, and naturally fertile. This method isn't just for vegetable gardens. It works in orchards, field crops, even degraded pasture lands. The inputs are cheap, safe, and sustainable. You're essentially using the biology of the soil itself to rebuild its strength. If you're serious about soil health, give this a try. Mix sugar into your next batch of grass clippings and watch what happens over the next few weeks. You'll witness firsthand how life returns to the soil when you feed it right. If this guide helped you understand how simple ingredients can transform your soil, subscribe to the Soil Doctor YouTube channel for more real, field-tested methods. Share this with a fellow grower who's fighting tired, unresponsive soil. Because healthy soil isn't built in a lab. It's built with living hands and living earth.